guys, what's up? Carter Cutes here, and today I have, like, this cool thing that I decided to do. Um, inspiration I got from Crazy Bad Cuber. He took his, um, 2x2 rear blocks, rear blocks cube, and he stickered it so that, um, it would solve, like, a normal 2x2, two two, so you could get all these colors on each side, and he made it so you can solve it like a mirror blocks. So I thought that'd be a cool idea, but I'm just going to apply it a little bit differently to this 3x3. This, this is a Yushin 3x3, I think. And I have no use for it. And also, if you know my, if you watched my last video, you'll know that um, I got two sets of stickers that I didn't need with my Volk 3. And I also got the sticker peeler. So I figured, and I also used the sticker peeler to put on the stickers. So I figured, how about this? I take this cube and I scramble it up so that I can put the stickers on in the right way but the cube will still be mixed up. So that way you can solve you can solve the stickerless part of it, and that's one solve state. And then you can solve the stickers, and that's another solve state. So that, I think that would be a cool thing. So, um, um, I'm just gonna start off by doing the white side. Well, actually, we have to scramble it up first. So, scramble, scramble, scramble. Doo -doo 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 and after I do this, I'll probably do a quick solve on both parts of it. Though, just so you know, I'm not very fast at 3x3, three three, so I'll probably end up fast-forwarding those solves. So I shouldn't have said quick solve, but still. Okay, that looks about mixed up. So, and I'm also going to put the sides different ways, too. So I guess I'll put, start off the white side, and I guess I'll put it on the red side, because why not? So, these, are, these aren't these cubicle stickers, these are um, the actual bulk stickers that came with the cube. I can't really see it because the it's one big sticker, but let's see. Oh, there we go. Alright, so that's what I do is I take my sticker peeler and I slide it under the sticker. And then I like grab the sticker and peel it off. Then I just carefully, you know, apply it. And this is just gonna be pretty much stickering a cube. So I'll just do a couple on camera and then I will time lapse it so that way. You're not stuck watching me re-sticker a cube for 30 minutes. Because that would not be fun. So I'll probably do this, this one sticker and then I'll start time-lapsing it. And the cool thing is these stickers fit even though they're Volk stickers because the Volk is like, what, 55 millimeters? And these stickers are that size, pretty much. And the, this cube is a bigger than a 55 or 57 millimeter cube. Oh, I think it is probably a 57 millimeter cube, but it's bigger than the Volk 3 stickers. So that way I can fit them on, even though they're not for the cube. So I guess now I'm going to go ahead and start the time lapse. And I've just got to say that this, these, these stickers on the Volk, you can see how much I've had to bend this paper to get them off. Like, they will not come off. Like, I've tried to, when you start, I got the white side done, but when you start taking them off, they'll just rip the paper too, which, like, stinks. Alright, so I guess I'll start the time lapse again. Hopefully I can get it done fast enough. And there we go, I have stickered the cube. I did not do a very good stickering job. If you can see on the blue side, this corner right here, I was trying to pull it off and then I folded it over a little bit on accident. I don't know if you can see that, it's right, right there. You can see it's a little bit off and it just it bothers me, but I... I'm not going to be using this for, like, my main or whatever, but, I mean, I didn't do the greatest stickering job. And then on the green side, I butchered this sticker horribly. I 
hand stickered it, like literally with my hands. But otherwise, I think I did pretty okay. So let's go ahead and just mix up, mix it all up. And I don't think I'm gonna have great recognition on the side colors. But I think I'll do the stickers first. So, let's just inspect it. Okay, what's that? <laughs> this is like annoyingly hard. Okay. Oh wait, this needs to come over here. Wait, oh, I'm just like butchering this. Oh wait, that's already where, what? This is, ah, oh, this is so confusing. Oh, I'm gonna put this, okay. Okay, guys, let me just fast forward this. Okay, so I got the sticker solved again. That is like really tricky, especially on the, especially on F2L, because, like, I'm looking at a piece, and like, let's say I'm just, so this is the, um, this is the white, red, green edge, but this orange right here confuses me, because they're like they're similar colors, and so I'm like, and then this edge is right here too, and it's really confusing because you're looking around and it's just really hard. So I guess now I'll keep my promise and I'll do um solve of the um the actual, you know, the outsides. Now this one I'm not I don't need to scramble it because it's already scrambled. You know? So here's the wet side. And these two are already lined up, which is nice, but alright, let me time lapse it now. I'm sorry, I cannot do this, like, I got an F12 hair, it's right here, I don't know if you can even notice that, like, it's outlined like this, and like this, and then here's the green face, and I inserted it right, and it's right here, and then, <laughs> it's just really confusing, so, um, I'm sorry, I have to give up on this, this is hard, like, it was even hard to get the white cross, like, that doesn't even look like a cross, though, does it? But if you look at the outlines, it is, it's a cross. So, um, thank you guys for watching, and see you in the next video.